Hi, welcome to another video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go to the video. Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio 2024 With a 505 horsepower twin turbo V6 and a brilliantly tuned chassis, the 2024 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio has muscled its way toward the top of the competitive sports sedan segment. While it's not as posh as the Mercedes-AMG C63 or as lithe as the Cadillac CT4V Blackwing, the Alfa brings a massive serving of passion to the table, all the better to charm its driver into clipping apexes on even the most routine commutes. The other thing it serves up is the potential for a maintenance and repair headache. We drove one for over 40,000 miles and it didn't end that long-term test with the best reputation for reliability. Geek.car buffs won't likely care about that, though, the Giulia Quadrifoglio is that much fun to drive. Although it hasn't had a styling update since it was launched as a 2018 model, the Giulia remains one of the most beautiful cars in the class. Its interior, too, is stylish, even if it lacks the same level of fit and finish as its competitors. To celebrate the 100th birthday of the 4-leaf Clover Quadrifoglio badge it puts on its high-performance cars, Alfa Romeo has ginned up an exclusive 100th anniversario model of the high-powered Giulia Quadrifoglio sports sedan. Only 100 will be built and all of them come with gold-painted brake calipers, unique wheels, carbon fiber grille and mirror caps, gold stitching on the seats and dashboard, and a set of commemorative badges inside and out. The Giulia Quadrifoglio otherwise benefits from the same upgrades as the non-QF model, which includes new LED headlamps and tail lamps. The car also now comes with a larger 12.3-inch digital gauge display. We wouldn't add much to the Giulia's equipment list, as it already boasts desirable features such as in-dash navigation, blind spot monitoring, heated front seats, front and rear parking sensors, leather upholstery, and a 15-speaker Harman slash Kardon audio system. If you're into driver assists, and we understand why you might not care for them in a driver's car like this one, we'd suggest adding the Active Assist Plus package as it comes with Lane Keeping Assist, a driver attention monitor, and Alpha's adaptive cruise control system, which features a lane centering feature. All-wheel drive is not on the menu, however, the QF is strictly a rear-drive sedan, which is one of the reasons it's so much fun to hustle. Engine, Transmission, and Performance with its Rhapsodic twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6 and a well-calibrated 8-speed automatic transmission, the rear-drive-only Giulia Quadrifoglio is a riot to pilot. The Italian-built, Ferrari-derived engine produces 505 horsepower, 443 pound-feet of torque, and a spine-tingling timbre that shames most rivals. Too bad a manual transmission isn't available. We're also sad to report that Alfa Romeo lives up to its reputation for unreliability, with our long-termer exhibiting several mechanical glitches. The Julia's engine contains its excitement when cruising at low RPM and in top gear. Applying the throttle below 3000 RPM results in merely a hint of hesitation, but then the turbos spool up and power builds in a whirlwind of acceleration and a ripping exhaust note. The 8-speed automatic gearbox is decisive and quick to swap gears in the sportier drive modes, and the Julia's supple chassis is a willing partner in high-spirited hijinks. The Alpha shines on track and handles daily driving well, with perfect damping and notable isolation from harsh impacts. The zestier driving modes don't compromise ride quality, either. And then there's the sensational steering, the thin-rimmed steering wheel feels like a blast from the past, offering feather-light effort, communicative feedback, and pleasingly quick response. The synthesis of these traits into a seamless whole is what separates the Quadrifoglio from its main rivals and helped it win a comparison test against the M3. Fuel Economy and Real World MPG The Julia QF and its super sedan rivals are virtually tied in EPA ratings, with the Alpha earning 17 miles per gallon city and 25 miles per gallon highway. The version we tested on our 75 miles per hour fuel economy route beat its highway estimate by 1 mile per gallon. For more information about the Julia Quadrifoglio's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo the Julia's interior is composed of leather surfaces and faux suede accents. The attractive front seats are supportive without being restrictive. A pair of racing-oriented Recaro buckets are available, but they lack the power adjustments and heating elements of the standard set. 
The switchgear and swooping dashboard carry over from the regular Julia, but the Quadrifoglio adds a copious amount of carbon fiber trim. The QF's trunk would accommodate for carry-on suitcases, which is average for this class. The reasonably sized center console adds a bit of front row storage. Backseat passengers are limited to small door pockets in cargo netting on the back of the front seats to store their stuff. Infotainment and Connectivity The 8.8-inch infotainment display in the dash can be controlled by touch or by a rotary knob on the center console. The interface is customizable and intuitive, but the driver may have some difficulty hitting the smaller on-screen icons when the vehicle is in motion. Still, Alpha's system has a wealth of features and comes with navigation, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto integration. A 12.3-inch digital gauge display and a 15-speaker Harman slash Kardon sound system are also standard. Safety and Driver Assistance Features The Swoopy sedan has standard driver assist such as automated emergency braking and blind spot monitoring plus a slew of available equipment. For more information about the Julius crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS, websites. Warranty and Maintenance Coverage Alfa Romeo's limited and powertrain warranties are average for the class. Its corrosion protection is also middling, and its complementary maintenance period is shorter than BMW's. The Giulia Quadrifoglio Design The Giulia was designed by an Italian automotive designer named Marco Tencone. Marco was also the lead designer responsible for the Maserati Alfieri, the Quattroport, and the Alfa Romeo for C. Marco is a superstar in the European luxury car industry known for his design of Lancia concept cars. Marco's designs have impressed the eye of concept car collectors for years, which makes his designs highly sought after and very popular in the industry. Every automaker hopes to one day have Marco design a concept for them. Carbon Fiber Drive Shaft all models of the Alfa Romeo Giulia have been designed with a carbon fiber drive shaft. This change has been done to reduce the vehicle's weight and improve the performance. The carbon fiber drive is vital for performance and handling at a high rate of speeds. The handling is essential, especially at a high rate of speed. No one wants to have a sloppy handling vehicle on the roads. When moving at high rates of speed, you want an active and responsive handling car. You do not want to lose control or have the car too stiff. Giulia Quadrifoglio Engine Ferrari technicians developed the all-aluminum, twin-turbocharged V6 engine, which has 503 horsepower with 453 pounds of torque. This powerful little V6 engine has been derived from the Ferrari F154 V8. Many car experts have said that the Giulia V6 is the Ferrari California V8 engine minus two cylinders. Aerodynamics Alfa Romeo designed that active aero splitter with aerodynamics in mind. On the Giulia Quadrifoglio, its purpose is to increase the downforce at high speeds. This design is done to help it stick to the road better at high rate speeds, with the car already being light for performance, it needs some downforce control. Being active means that it automatically adjusts, depending on the rate of speed. It moves down when needed and tucks away when required. The dynamic feature is excellent with carbon fiber to make it lightweight. It's important to point that the Giulia Quadrifoglio is the only sedan in the world with an active aero splitter, a carbon appendix positioned under the front bumper. Over 100 km per hour it opens thanks to two actuators controlled by the CDC. This ensures even great aerodynamics and stability, most importantly in fast curves. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.